Hello everybody, it's Everall Total 4 for another Poke Crate. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. I'm doing this at night because I just didn't have any time to do it before. Which means that this is gonna be bright because the light's right above my head, and also if I move you're just gonna see the reflection in the television. But what can you do? You can record during the day, that's what you can do. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's open this up. Uh, last month's Poke Crate, this actually this one got to me pretty fast, so surprised. Um, it, they've been getting more consistent. I'm not getting them like two weeks later. It's cool. Uh, last one's Pug Crate. We got that uh, Pikachu hat. If you remember, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to block the TV with my head, but it's not really working too well. Anyway, da 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 uh, I liked it. I just like the little dolls and everything. It's from the Pokemon episode. Uh, I, s I said how the how this looks like a beard. It's the back of the body. It's not bad. It just looks like a beard to me. Um, but uh, yeah, it's from the episodes in the Pokemon anime where Haunter, uh, or Ash was challenging the, uh, uh, the what's it called, Jim. The Saffron City Gym. I'm going to lower the lighting on my computer screen so it stops reflecting off my glasses. Maybe that'll help out a little bit. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so that's cool. Also, ooh, we have a block Gengar. If you remember a while ago, we got a, uh, a block version of, um, of Charizard right over here. Let's see if I can pick him up without breaking him. Uh, I made a little video where I put them together. I'm afraid I don't have the time to do that right now. But, um, yeah. I'll show you guys in the in the next weekly update. I'll have built it by then. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, cool. Little porthole in the side to look into it. Uh, so, yeah, fake Lego. It looks like with these things, it's a, um, you give them a design and they just kind of make it for you. I'm assuming that's what this is, as opposed to it being like an actual Pokemon product. It's just like, you just give them something and they'll print out X amount of copies that you sell or make or whatever. Uh, it's like the same with thing with like make to order shirts and stuff. Ooh. Okay, now we got a magnet here. Let's not put it too close to the computer screen. Uh, but it's Gengar and a pumpkin. Uh, Gengar with a very long tongue. He, it might be, the, this Gengar might actually be the ghost of a, uh, Greninja. Who knows? Um, let's see if I can get this open so I can show you without light reflecting off of the plastic. Dovey's notoriously bad at opening plastic things. <laughs> where's the, where's the opening, Dovey? Seems to be an opening over here. Oh, there we go. I found it. Found it, guys. We're good. Good, Amphi. We're good. We're good. Uh, yeah. Gengar. That's cute. I mean, not really cute. It actually is kind of cute. The little spike on its head is kind of like a tuft of hair, you know? Uh, let's put that over here. Next up, we have another sticker. A small, oh, a sticker version of the magnet. Yay! That's cool. I like that. Now we got one for me and one for me. Also, more Pokemon keychain things. Let's take this out. Um, these are, of course, since it's October, doing the whole spoopy theme, which means that this is unbearably adorable. Okay, so we got a Miss Magius. We have a Pikachu in a Gengar costume, a Pikachu in a Duskull costume, a Pikachu in a Miss Magius costume, and a Pikachu in a Golbat costume. If they could stop moving. And my fingers don't block them too much. Look at that. There we go. Just had to tilt it a bit more. Oh, that is so cute. 
Why is it that Pikachus just look so cute in costumes? I almost bought, like, the Pokemon Center's whole suite of Pikachu costume plushes, but I ended up just buying Amphi over there. I don't know. Also, a Fates Collide pack. So let's open this up and see see what unimportant thing that I get. Uh, code card, of course. One, two, three off of the bottom. Always take the three, three off the back and put them in the front so that you get to the rare cards at the end. That's the secret. As if nobody, everybody knows that, Dovey. Anyway, we start with a Loudrid. I like this one. It's, uh, it's just like, yo, you know, you know? Pent Spoon says, prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to the Pokemon this car is attached to. That's pretty nice. Little gong gong gong. Cute little Burmy. A Bronzor. A Binacle. I really like these artwork ones. I like this type of artwork. A Schnabel. 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 A Riolu. I can see what I got and you can't. We'll just save that one for last. A nice Amistar. Yeah, ha, hey, Amistar. Restoring Beam. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a restored Pokemon and put it in your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Spinning attack is 60. The artwork seem to imply, seems to imply that these Amistar in some dystopian future were just they've reclaimed everything, which makes sense because Lord Helix giveth and Lord Helix taketh away. But anyway, Bronzong Break! Ooh, fancy schmancy. Look at that. I hope it's coming out well because it doesn't look good for me because the lighting is, is down on my laptop, but I think it's okay for you guys. Anyway, it says Metal Rain. Uh, a steel and a regular energy. Discards many steel energy attached to this Pokemon as you like. For each energy card discarded in this way, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon and do 30 damage to it. Don't apply weakness and resistance. That that can be pretty nasty. So yeah, Bronzong Break. I'm usually disappointed, but not this time. You Poke Crate guys, you good. You're good. Um, but yeah, I really like it. It got uh, two of the stickers again. Um, I like that they resent the uh, the Haunter. It's one of my favorites. Uh, and uh, these guys are all they're all going up over there with the rest of my keychains. I have such a collection now. Oh my goodness gracious! Where's the last time they sent these keychains? No, I think Christy sent those. I have it somewhere. Uh. I have it hanging somewhere. There's there's a whole collection. I don't like disturbing it. Um, but yeah. And uh, the magnet and the little uh, thing of the uh, of the Gengar. So yeah. Good times. I like this Poke Crate a lot. Fits with the Halloween theme. And yeah. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, and I will see you guys next month for more Poke Crate. Goodbye everybody. Bye bye.